Today we're talking about filters and I'm not talking about the Instagram type, I'm talking about the glass that goes in front of your lens. And just a reminder that I make videos like this all the time to help you with your videography and your photography. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel uh, and clicking the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So today we're talking about filters. I just want to go through a quick overview uh, of what filters I use and why I use them. I'm not going to go into very much detail, right? So if you've got any questions, please just leave them in the comments field. Uh, in the notes section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But what I wanted to talk about is the ones that I use. And we'll start off with an ND filter. So an ND filter, uh, these are ND filters. There's two different types here and I'll explain to you why in a second. Uh, this is the most basic type of filter. This is like sunglasses for your camera. And you may want to reduce the, the amount of light coming into your camera if you are doing something like say a long exposure during the day or if you want to shoot at like say f2.8 but there's too much light and you run out of shutter speed you top that your shutter speed this is the thing that you do you put this in front of your lens and what it will do is it cuts down the light now that is a screw on type that you put on there and this is a square one that goes into a holder like so it just uh, slides in there and then this thing goes onto there's a little ring that cut that you get that um, specific to the size of the lens that you're using and then this basically just uh, clips on there as well this is um, this is really easy to put on and take off but I wouldn't be running with one of these um, if you're going to be doing that go for these ones now the benefit of course of using one of these is that if you buy one of these cheap adapter rings for each one of your lenses then this will fit on different size lenses whereas if you use one of these you're gonna to have to buy a different one uh, for each one of your lenses if they're a different size so that's the ND filter the other one that I've got here as well is a polarizer and the polarizer is the same type of uh, it, it screws on like the other one and this one's different in the sense that there's two pieces of glass in there and they work independently so you screw it on but the outside ring will move around and you keep spinning that whilst you're looking through the viewfinder or looking at the back of your screen and you will notice that reflective light is reduced. So when you get reflections from water or reflections from, from glass, this eliminates most of it as well. And because it eliminates that light, then the colors also, also seem to pop as well. So you are not interfering with the color of the, of the light as well. So the greens are really vivid, the blues are really vivid, and it's a really good way to get uh, popping colors out of your picture uh, regardless. And uh, so, but this will cut down a little bit of your light as well, so you need to account for that. But that is the uh, circular polarizer. Then what we have is, um, actually, let me talk about this one for a second. That's a UV filter. And a lot of people use this in front, uh, they put this on, on the lenses because they said it cuts down UV light. Yes, and this used to be a problem more so when you had film because film was sensitive to UV light. Digital cameras are not really sensitive to UV light. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference in your photos uh, if you put one of these or you don't. What this does though, is it will protect your lens as well. So if you're gonna be out in the environment, uh, that's going to be dirt flying around or even if you hit the, the lens you're, you're better off breaking something like this than breaking your lens so that is really the only use that I can think of for UV filters the next one that I've got this is an in, um, a, a variable ND filter or variable neutral density filter and this is the the ones these are mostly used for video but again these screw on and just like the um, the, the the circular polarizer these are two piece, pieces of glass except these ones go completely transparent and then go completely dark as well and this is mostly used for video so that if you're shooting somewhere where the light keeps changing the sun keeps coming out then it goes cloudy and so forth you can just quickly reach over and spin this in front of your in front of your lens and you can compensate I'm, I could be looking at my monitor and I can just compensate for the amount of the, the light change 
Um, it's a lot easier than having to fiddle around whilst you're recording and looking for dials and so forth to switch your ISO or your shutter speed or your f-stop. This is just a lot easier to just reach over the lens, turn it, and you can just compensate. And again, this is, uh, so this is the variable ND filter. Now, um, I've shown you the square filter for that goes on top of this, and this is completely, as you can see, um, it's the same strength throughout the whole of the glass. Um, so it's this one. That's a 10 stop, that's a, that's a 6 stop, and that's how you measure ND uh, filters. So uh, it's the amount of light that they cut, they cut back. So that's, a, that's really, really dark. Um, that's pretty dark as well, but you, so that's a six. You can get three, twos, ones, and so forth. Uh, it just depends on what you're after. But there is another type of um, ND filter, which is the graduated ND filter. And that's one right there. And you can see that um, it goes from dark all the way down to clear. And the reason you use that is if, you, if you're shooting somewhere like, say, for example, um, uh, uh, landscape photography and you're shooting a mountain range and you've got a really bright sky what you would do is you would mount this onto your bracket so that it's halfway up and I will mount this on a lens just to show you so as you're photographing the uh, the landscape you can place the dark part of the filter on the sky, which would normally be a lot brighter than the mountains. So you're bringing down the brightness of the sky, which balances the picture so that you're not, it's not clipping the highlights as well. So, uh, and you're still maintaining detail in the shadows. So that's the reason why you would want to use one of these. That's just one reason you could use it artistically as well. You could spin this around. That's the cool thing about this as well. Um, and by no means is this the only option that you get with this type of system. Um, you can get filters that have, um, they've got red light, blue light, so that you can turn it around, you can create, uh, you can have creative effects. Um, but these are the ones that I use, which are mostly just used to control the light really and not to affect them. The thing about the, uh, the ND filters is that the more that you pay for these typically, uh, the less of a tint they will have, so they are truly neutral as well. They always do introduce a little bit of a tint, like either a magenta or a green that you have to take off um, in, in post-production, but it's really minimal and it's very easy to do as well. So um, that's it. They are the filters that I use. Again, this is by no means uh, the filters. You can get hundreds of different types of filters. Uh, the ones that I use are a brand called Nisi. I'll put some uh, I'll put some notes, some links in in the notes below if you want to if you want to check them out. But you can get different ones uh, from Lee and uh, I can't remember, but there's a whole bunch of them that you can that you can get. Uh, so anyway, I hope this has uh, been useful for you. If you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it'd be really cool if you subscribed as well. It'd be great to have you along as part of the channel. So click the subscribe button, click the little notification bell, and that way every time I make a new video, you'll get a notification um, so that you don't miss out on any of them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you at the next video.